one. Here is an opportunity to list everything that you want. Your list probably included things like pizza, bread, salad, movies, a cell phone, a new backpack, colorful pens, water, another dog, a car, a rocket, a playhouse, a soccer ball, and the list goes on. This is the idea of having unlimited wants. Humans have unlimited wants, but not every want can be fulfilled. Someone might want a hundred trees in their backyard, but there is simply not enough land to plant all those trees. This is the idea that resources are limited. So, human wants are unlimited while resources are limited. Therefore, we are forced to make choices. This morning, I had to decide whether I wanted pancakes or a muffin for breakfast. Unfortunately, I cannot eat both. This is the idea of scarcity and choice. If you were given the option of having a pizza party or an ice cream party, and you could only choose one, which one would you pick? Well, if you choose the pizza party, you would have to give up the ice cream party. And if you choose the ice cream party, you would have to give up the pizza party. You must make a choice. What about a new phone? Or a new laptop? If you choose the phone, you give up the laptop. And if you choose the laptop, you give up the phone. These examples demonstrate the idea of scarcity. Resources are limited, which means they are scarce. There are simply not enough resources to satisfy everyone's wants. Now that you have learned about the idea of scarcity, you understand why we have to make choices. Our wants are unlimited, but our resources are limited. This means that we cannot have everything we want, and we are forced to make choices. Well done! You have learned the idea of scarcity and choice. Next time you make your wish list, you will understand why we need to make choices and proudly apply economics to your daily lives. Remember the idea of unlimited wants, limited resources, and ultimately, scarcity and choice. Be sure to like and subscribe for more economics videos. Thank you for watching.